Most people in life don't like when someone is lying to them, stealing from them, or cheating them out of their life goods or their life's work. If you don't have a calling, if your calling is not producing for you the life of lifestyles that you want, what should you do about that? Do you think continuing to lie, steal, and cheat is something that the marvelous God in heaven is expecting you to continue to do, or do you think it's time to turn over a new leaf? When a man has skill sets, when a man has opportunities, when a man knows how to use technology, he should be well employed. You see, while you're panhandling the street and you're pissing all over people in parking lots, they're getting pretty annoyed. They get so annoyed that they might call police, but police won't do a thing about it for two reasons. They don't want rougher players around the community who would come in and replace you in seconds, but they also don't want to piss all over people like me who know how to put them in the ground with the military. You see, the military might be minding me and paying attention to you through the satellites. We have to understand that technology is something that God has gifted to the minds of people. It's not something that marvelously somebody like Al Gore produced. But here's what we know about late presidents and late vice presidents is that they're supposed to go quietly back to their home country. They're supposed to go practically back to their hometowns. They're supposed to go back into something else around not continuing to piss on new administration. You see, when you leave a job, when you're removed from a job, when you're fired from a job, you don't usually go back to that company or that organization to try to play around and take your job back. You see, in the situation of the federal government, we voted for who we wanted to be the collective president. How we voted got totally monkeyed with by someone who created treason and ruined the timeline of the elections. We also had technology that is not necessarily the most appropriate way for someone to vote today. I know we really love technology. I know that people are on their cell phones all day. I've seen them driving in parking lots looking at their, their, their telephones, at their computers, at their watches, anything like that while they're driving. They're actually risking vehicle manslaughter, uh, vehicle, 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 I can't even say the word correctly, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Of possibly running over some little old lady who's walking her walker down a very, very uneven sidewalk in a town that is made up completely, allegedly, of only young people because elderly cannot be found. They can't be found because the sidewalks are not accessible for anyone who's got a rollator like me which has to carry a few extra things because of my need for it to walk, but also for my need for, for the ability to be in control of my heart rate. You see, you are in control of your heart rate, but a player likes to lie, steal, and cheat and piss on someone's health. A liar likes to steal a body and sexualize it in a way that's inappropriate for everyone, which will end him up in physically in hell in the afterlife. Here's the problem. Most people don't believe they're going to hell until they get there, and they're pretty surprised once they meet the devil and when they get there. Now, we can laugh about what we see on television with the program Lucifer. We can cry about what we see in movies that literally tout some sort of hell's angels or some sort of lit, lit up Nicolas Cage skeleton that's supposed to do something with a hellish whip. I don't get it all. But here's what I know. A lot of what we get out of Hollywood is premonition of what's to come. We had several films down the peak in the last five to roughly, gosh, ten years, because I remember going to one with my son, that openly sort of predicted a pandemic. And the one by Will Smith was creepier than shit. But here's the reality. God has planned this world. And when people do not align themselves with the Heavenly Lord, and when people do not allow their internal light to shine in a way that brightens up the world and when people are selfish and degrading and debasing and dehumanizing of other people God gets pretty pissed off so while sexual tra trafficking continues to be on the rise because of the foreign people that come here in a land of which they despise we have to pay attention to our lives if you're not paying attention to your single life and you're making an ass out of yourself in front of another human being, especially a man who's much older than you, wiser than you, more seasoned than you, you're an idiot of epic proportions to him. You see, your idiocy is thinking, I could just keep playing my little life around him and maybe some of him will run off on me. No, that's not what you're doing. 
You're trying to insult him and incite him. You're fucking around on his computers. You're ruining his intellectual property. You're destroying his business relationships. And you do it because of what? Your selfish nature of feeling nobody's going to rise above me here. I'm going to keep everybody down here. What do you think you're working with? You're working with the dark spirit. You're working with the satanic force. And you're a liar about God. Because you believe you're the God in someone's life. And let me tell you, if you were in an actual business community and pulled that shit, one of the men in the room that's kind of a big macho dick would come up and sweep the fucking floor with you, either verbally embarrassing you in front of everyone there, or he'd literally physically pick your ass up and take you out of there. Not with law enforcement, with his own care. So let's be clear. The world of men and the world of women is very different today. Women are always trying to tell men how to feel, what to do, what to think. And openly, we just say, poo-poo on you. You're participating in a marriage and therefore you're supported by your actual husband, most of you. And openly, if you took on somebody else's children, that means that that man failed in his marriage and just as much as you did. But why did you fail? Did you fail because you were soliciting other people? Did you fail because you were flirting with other people? Did you fail because you didn't trust your closest friends and relatives and family with what you were actually doing in the world? Or did you fail because God said this was supposed to be a lesson for you so that you'd go on and have a test for you but then you'd be challenged by the Lord of saying, do you see that one right there? That one that's gotten 10,000 signs for your life? That's the one you're supposed to be with. That's the one you met. That's the one I planned for you. But what did you do? You left. 